Hello and welcome to a video on flake tobacco. I've had quite a few requests to show you uh, how to load a flake. Now, as some of you may know from watching my videos, uh, I really rate flakes. I'm a bit of a, I'm not a pipe snob, but I am a bit of a tobacco snob in the sense that I, I really love my flakes. Uh, now, I do like some uh, drugstore tobaccos, like and uh, ready, ready rub, like uh, Prince Albert, for example, but really, I do love my flakes. And, and I, I, for me, it is, it, it's all about flakes. Now, here's a few that you can see of my favorites there. Capstan, University Flake, Aaron Moore Flake, Navy Flake, and in the distance you can see uh, some uh, Marlin Flake. This is Davidoff's Flake Medallions. And this is very similar to that, an Escudo. Now, I, have, I love a Scudo, it's very, very good stuff. Uh, I haven't actually tried the flake medallions, but they say it's very similar. Um, now, those flake medallions look like this. There's, this is Peter Stockby's luxury bullseye flake. And they are quite, simply put, flake medallions. And I'm going to show you something else now. And that is a nice knife. I actually use this for chopping plugs. It's a very good sort of razor style, uh, very sharp knife. Very good for chop chopping uh, thick plugs or flakes. And it's also very good for opening tins. Pop. Here we go. That is the pop of a nice tin of Marlin flake. And the reason I, I'm, I'm showing you that is because those flakes that I've just shown you, you, you will be accustomed to. However, with Marlin flake, it is very different to most other flakes in the sense that it comes, excuse me now, it comes with this beautiful big block like that. Okay, very similar to uh, Rainier's uh, Long Golden Flake, however that comes in long strips. This is just one big long strip rolled up into a flattish block or flattish ball. Absolutely wonderful stuff, lovely. Lovely. So I've just opened that just for you to show you the beauty of Marlin Flake uh, when it's opened. It's, it's a really nice tactile thing. Now, I'm going to show you something else and I'm going to show you a flake pipe. Now, this would be considered a typical flake pipe. And it is considered a typical flake, flake pipe because it is actually relatively small. Now, maybe you can see it in context to, to the shape the size of those tins. It's relatively small. This is a particularly beautiful pipe. It's fairly new. This is my uh, Deluxe Peterson's uh, number 15 uh, Deluxe. Lovely stuff, flame grain there. Beautiful stuff, look at that. Okay, and the reason it's a flake pipe, flake pipe is because it's quite small. So that would be a very typical flake pipe. This is a, a near up and it's a filter pipe. And again, it's fairly small. It's a lovely, also straight grain. And that's a, f you know, these are often termed as flake pipes. This is quite uh, a no-name, well, a Forester pipe, no big uh, famous brand, but uh, it's a, it's a, um, a Bulldog, London-made Forester. And again, relatively not oversized. Uh, now, this would be often a highly recommended flake pipe in the sense that it has a narrowed bowl. So it's got a tapered bowl. So it's conical shaped, pyramid shaped, triangular shaped and it's narrower here and some people say that's better for flakes because you want to keep an empty pocket in there when you're um, when you're loading your flake uh, you want to keep some uh, some air empty space in there to for it to actually um, burn better okay now those may be possible flake uh, pipes I will show you something that is not <laughs> a flake pipe okay that is not a flake pipe you could smoke flake in that. It's my GBD. It's very nice. It's a sitter. It's a kind of on Paul sitter. GBD from the 60s. Very, very nice. Uh, however, it's just got a f bloody huge bowl. And it's just, you know, you could smoke Irish flake in that. But it would last you about three hours. And, you know, you might just keel over uh, at the end of it. Um, so, you know, that is kind of the, the, uh, the pipe that you mightn't use for flakes. Again, you know, you can use anything that you really, really like. Uh, now, how to rub out a flake and how to load a flake. And I'm going to show you very, very simply. 
some nice Peterson's Irish flake. Now, that is a flake. This is a fairly recently opened tin, so it's quite moist still. Sometimes it'll be quite brit brittle and you won't actually have it in a flake anymore. But quite simply put, this is what you do. You fold it over, preferably in half. That didn't work quite that way, it worked more a little bit less. You fold it over again, and this you're probably all quite familiar with, okay? Now, people say, you then just put that into your pipe. Okay, like that. Okay, that's what they say. They sometimes say, you rub it up here a little bit. You, you, you ruffle it here, you, you twist a little bit at the ends. And that's, that's a good tip. What I do is this. If you have a look at these fingers, you, you kind of keep a, a little reservoir here in your fingers. You see like that? Okay, and I give it a good twist, so I kind of really rub it out like that. I really give it quite, quite a good rub, okay? Don't worry if somebody falls down. So I kind of push it, pull it, twist it, and all the time, okay, I now have something like that. So it's a little bit more than just a fold and a rub. I fold it one way, I fold it over again, and I really kind of rub it out quite a bit, you can see. And then keep keeping it very much like holding a kind of cigar butt in your finger, like that, keeping it like that, and then just carefully kind of feed it all in there. Okay, like that, I just carefully feed it in, okay? And then what I do is I push it down, okay, like that. And what I also do, is I kind of rough, rough up the, 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 the top here. So just that it gets a nice, it can catch a light there. And then what some people also say is just pick up some, a few flakes, a few little, little flecks, and, and sprinkle them on top to help it get lit. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is a flake loaded. It really is that simple. Some people like to rub it out completely that's fine. If that's what you like, do that. Obviously, with something like this, it's a case of breaking off a chunk and doing the same. You will often get tins of tobacco that are essentially already broken. They call it broken flake. So it's kind of ready rubbed, but it's just a broken flake. And you do the same system. You kind of can take a wad of it, in your fingers and keep it into one sort of pluggish shape and then just put it in. That's my system for a flake. The last thing I will show you, as you're smoking a flake, you need to do this sometimes. And that is, you need to take your tamper, a nice new tamper here from Mike over in Sweden, and you will scrape the tobacco away from the edges. Because you will find it tends to not burn so well around the edges. So that's all you do. With the pipe tamper, you just kind of pull it in a bit like that as and when you're smoking it. That's my brief video on how to smoke a flake. I love them. They're great for smoking outdoors. Um, they smoke cooler. They often tend to be better tobaccos, more, more mature in their tastes. Um, I swear by my flakes cooler, suitable for outdoor, a great range of tobaccos to choose from. I hope you enjoy that. I wish you a good night.